Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an Aries dealing with a Gemini, then this reading might be for you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers <clears throat> to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Hang on one second. <coughs> okay. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number three. Power of number 10. And the power of number seven. Okay. Looks like there is a judgment call that is going on in this relationship dynamic when you add up the three, the 10, the seven, brings us to the power of number 20. 20 in tarot is the judgment card, okay? So there could be a lot of blame shifting that's going on in this connection, or a lot of times with the judgment energy could bring somebody coming crawling back to you, Aries, begging for a second chance or this Gemini wants to revitalize the connection with you, especially if there's been a split, a separation, a breakup, etc. Okay. We could see the Empress card kick in. Some of you could have had a child with this Gemini. Um, this can also talk about growth or expansion within the connection. Power of number 10, preferably, I'd like to see the Wheel of Fortune, possibly the 10 of Cups and or the 10 of Pentacles. That could show me that there's going to be some kind of positive turnaround within this connection. Power of number seven, that would be the chariot card. Some of you could be in a long distance relationship with this Gemini. You could have met this person online. Okay. So somebody is, uh, I don't know who's in the military. Somebody could be in the military. I don't know if that's you Aries or if it's this Gemini. So I'm picking up that scenario. But something about moving forward into victory and success. The full card could also pop up because I'm seeing the number zero twice, once throughout the number 10 and once throughout the number 20. Okay, so the full card could make its presence known. Something about a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. Somebody here could want to wipe the slate clean with you, meaning your Gemini. Uh, things could also be in flux or suspension. Seeing the power of number 12, that would be the hanged man card. Um, some of you Aries could feel like this Gemini has left you in a state of confusion. Uh, I'm also picking up that there was some love bombing going on. And then it just feels like poof, somebody disappeared. Power of number 13, that's a sign of Scorpio with the death card. You know, there's something could have abruptly ended between the two of you. And again, wanting to rebirth the connection. You know, it's interesting. We're in the third quarter of this zodiac year, meaning Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. And, you know, and then, of course, when we talk about the holiday of Christmas, that starts around the season of the winter solstice. Okay, so Sag energy going into Capricorn season, um, fourth quarter of the zodiac year. So, you know, this time frame puts a lot of people up in their feelings. Um, it starts to make people feel, you know, warm and cozy on the inside. So, and this person could obviously reach out to you, your Gemini, if you've been in separation or you haven't heard from them in a long time. The holidays may trickle in and give them that warm and cozy sensation and want to reach out to you for some of you. Okay. Now, <clears throat> seeing the magician energy coming in through the number 10 with the number one out of the 10. So communication, and that is Gemini energy. Mm-hmm. Mental focus. There could have been some mind games that were going on. A lot of you Aries could be going through a healing phase, healing, cleansing, renewal, possibly wanting reconciliation with this Gemini. Because I'm seeing that through the number 17. That's Aquarius energy, which would represent the star card. 
We could also see the world card kick in. There could be emails, text messages, family dynamics that are going on. There could have been family members that got in the way of this connection. Something about a mother-in-law or potential future mother-in-law. We could see any of the queens kick in along with any of the knights. Seeing the knight of swords in my mind's eye right now, somebody wants to rush in. Or somebody had a sharp tongue. There were choice words. There could have been text messaging, like argument, arguments going over text messaging. Mm, I'm hearing my spirit guy say somebody caught somebody. Could have caught this Gemini out and about with a third party. So we're going to see what the power of number 20 is bringing in for this connection between Aries and Gemini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, between Aries and Gemini? Show me what's up. The Ace of Coins. Technically, I saw it come up in the reverse of my hands. Somebody failed at commitment or somebody wasn't giving you commitment, meaning you're Gemini. However, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to put it sideways. Because I'm feeling the energy is in both directions. Somebody here wanted long-term commitment. Somebody's been waiting for leveling up or waiting for a major offer or some form of engagement. There could be a delay in an engagement going on here. Show me uh, the Ace of Coins in the upright trusted ancestors between Aries and Gemini. There we go. The Wheel of Fortune. I did say somebody's wanting to turn around to turn the situation around. It's almost like to do a 180. You don't want to do a 360 in this connection because it's just only going to keep your person at the same spot that they're at. If this person were to, you know, meet you halfway, then you can complete the circle together. So something here is trying to turn around. So again, clarifying if the ace of Pentacles, because I'm again, I'm feeling 50 50 on this Ace of Pentacles. Somebody had high hopes for this connection to elevate and get to the next phase. But what I'm picking up is that there's some wishy washiness. There could have been a friends with benefits situation going on because I'm picking up on the Knight of Wands in my mind's eye. There definitely is attraction, there is chemistry. But that's not enough. Something here is not enough in the connection. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, Trusted Ancestors, in the reverse. Yeah, it just slow, slow moving energy, waiting, waiting, waiting. Seven of Pentacles. Prolonging, procrastination. That's what I'm feeling here. Procrastination in the situation. And somebody is getting impatient. There's some suppressed, either suppressed emotions or suppressed anger, or the anger did come out. Hence another reason why that there could have been a lot of miscommunication. Philandering. I'm hearing the word philandering. Somebody was philandering with third party. So that tells me that there could have been cheating going on. Show me the Wheel of Fortune, please. Mm. 
Yeah, somebody who's ready for their over the rainbow moment, but this energy was going back and forth. Somebody couldn't make a decision. I'm going to go into, um, I want to see if the Kipper deck wants to speak to me on this, and then I'll go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay, bad health. I'm picking up stress. Somebody's stressed. A lot of times with the bad health card, I pick up stress. That's the first indication I get. Stress, anxiety, could be depression. A lot of fear or worry that creates that stress and anxiety. Heartbroken. It's almost like I'm seeing the three of swords in my mind's eye right now. I'm also hearing from spirit. Some of you Aries were living under the same roof as this Gemini. Yeah, and there's despair. Somebody is a dog owner. Maybe the two of you had a, a pet that you shared. There's a lot of despair that's going on. Because the love that was going on here was running really deep. Feeling like this is your soulmate. There could have also been a loss of a loved one. Somebody could have had an ill parent, maybe an ill grandmother or grandfather. Somebody's feeling rejected, left out in the cold. The, like the despair card to me is like the five of pentacles. Feeling rejected. Like somebody wasn't good enough. Somebody made somebody feel that they weren't good enough for this connection. Sudden wealth. Could also be true that waiting for, you know, waiting for the resources, financial resources in order to get married, that could have been a blockage or a hindrance. But now might even talk about a little bit about family dynamics. Like in some scenarios, not for everybody, but there could be one family that has money and the other family doesn't have as much. So this could talk about stature or status. Again, somebody wasn't feeling like they were good enough for the connection. So what I'm picking up is that somebody here was superficial. Yet, giving, 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 I'm picking up with the Ten of Cups. Somebody was giving their heart, their blood, their sweat, their tears to this connection to prove, to prove that somebody was worthy. Hey, I'm a great catch. You know, and then it's like somebody wasn't getting it. But yet, taking advantage of the physical intimacy, I, I keep seeing that, that Knight of Wands. Somebody was taking advantage of somebody's body. And then leaving in the morning, you know, just like confusion. Somebody changes their mind too much. There's no consistency. That's what I'm picking up on. The community, this could be the family, this could be friends. So, you know, you could have the same social circle of friends. Could have been a separation, split, breakup, divorce, gab, gossiping, whispering. Something about, again, it could be about marriage, combining families together. So either way, Aries, somebody's not getting what they want out of this connection. Bottom line. Procrastination, delay, delay, delay. I just keep hearing delay. Trust in the ancestors. Why is somebody delaying the connection here? Because somebody's thoughts are off out in a distance. Like they're not 
focused. They're, it's like they're daydreaming. Somebody's daydreaming. They're not focused in on the long term. They're, somebody could be trying to capture the vision of being with this person, meaning you, Aries, unto Gemini. Why else are they delaying? Somebody's delaying the relationship. Four of Swords. Somebody chose to take a time out. And again, there could have been a passing of a loved one. That could have, you know, put some things to a halt. But yeah, there's there's this marriage energy or commitment on the bottom of the deck. Twin flame, soulmate, 11-11 connection, the four of wands. An engagement could have gotten called off. Somebody could have confessed that they weren't, you know, in love. And cut in the middle of the deck, I got the five of cups. Somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret. Go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Somebody is confessing that you were the best thing in their life, Aries, meaning you're Gemini. I can't stop thinking about you. That could be another reason for the despair. Like somebody can't get over the connection or the, the breakup, the split. There was a run or chaser type of energy going on. Somebody panicked. Trying to get the right answers. Missed phone calls. Uh, unread text messages. No response to anything on social media. I replay our conversations over and over again. So that means that, yeah, somebody can't, somebody can't stop thinking about this connection. Almost feels like, what have I done? What have I done? I want to feel that way again. So, so again, somebody's all up in their feelings. What did I say? That we're creeping on to the holidays. Sentimental value. Either one of you could want to go back to the beginning the beginning of this connection where things were lighthearted and lovey-dovey and all of this, but I was picking up love bombing in some cases. Almost feels like there was a, a falsified energy going on. However, I can't help but not feel with that community card that people were, somebody here was getting distracted with their friends, their family members, Going out all the time. Cancel. I just heard cancel dates. Somebody didn't show up for a date. Gave an excuse at the last minute. Like maybe an hour before the date was supposed to happen. Somebody went through that. I feel you even though we are apart. So in some scenarios, you guys broke up. And they're feeling your energy. Somebody is very bound and determined and they know that the two of you are going to be back together again. Yet this person, meaning your Gemini, could have given you no choice, but I feel you leaving me behind. Well, if somebody would have hurried up, snap, snap, and would have leveled up the connection in an ebb and flow... A relationship is like a dance. Somebody needs to take the lead and then you follow. And it's not to say that by the relationship being in a dance and the one that follows is submissive. No. It's combined energy to create this beautiful, quote unquote, this beautiful art of a relationship. 
It's like Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, you know, it's harmonization. And I can't help but not feel that there were stop, start, stop, and start going on here. And it left somebody all up in their head, not knowing what to do. So a lot of different, you know, scenarios going on. So this person's got guilt. They may not know what to do with themselves because, you know, feeling like, you know, you were the best thing that came into their life. Why does this person, why does this Gemini feel like Aries is the best thing that came into their life? Passion, desire, creativity, and also the best sex that they ever had. But they were being obstinate. To me, with this Nine of Wands out of the Game of Thrones deck, it, somebody now is standing in their solidarity, yet wanting wish fulfillment here. I it, This is like, I want to feel that way again. That energy can match up. That card can match up also, too, with the Nine of Cups. Why does this person or this Gemini think that they're going to be back together with Aries? Because you balance them out. Their life was not balanced. And when you came into the mix, Aries, you balanced this Gemini out. Their life started to make sense. When you came into the mix of everything. But at the end of the day, some of them were juggling you and someone else. So, you got to keep pushing forward, Aries. Get back into your personal power. Free yourself of the drama. Whatever drama is going on, free yourself of that. Go clear your mind. Go ground your energy you know, go clear your mind because remember Aries rules over the headspace and don't forget you are the first house of the Zodiac. It is about leadership. Own it. Until this person or the judgment call comes on them because what goes around comes around and this person could be getting their karma. Okay. My awesome and amazing Aries, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.